Now, your award-winning local sports coverage. Here's David Reed. We are live out here at Munson Stadium for the 120th edition of the Battle of the Axe. It is the Sherman Bearcats coming in town to take on the Dennis and Yellow Jackets. Jeremy Thomas joins me now to talk about it. And Jeremy, this game totally has a different feel to it. If for no other reason, one, it's hot out here, and, and two, it's week one and not week 10, and, and that's not the way this usually goes. No, and that's what makes this so unique. You're usually in your set routine. You have worked out all the kinks, but everything's out of the window. Of course, with a rivalry game, it's all out the window, but when you don't have that preparation, you don't have any common opponents, it makes everything different and so unique. So it should be a very good one. Yeah, who knows what we're going to get out here tonight. A lot of people still trying to work out the kinks. You've got new players in the lineup and all that. Having said all that, Denison has won this game five years in a row, and that's uh, not something that's lost on anybody wearing black and gold. They're going for six tonight. Yeah, personal best in this series for Denison. I mean, that's huge for them. They haven't seen a type of streak like this in quite some time, if not ever. So for Denison trying to go for six, it's a huge deal for them. And if you're the Sherman Bearcats, you obviously want that streak to end. It's not lost on them either that, that they need to get that axe back. These seniors haven't seen the axe in, in Sherman since they were in the seventh grade. Yeah, 2012, that's a long time. Folks in Sherman not happy about that. They want to bring the axe back down south. They talk about the team up north. They want to bring it back down south. Yeah, and we can talk about this game all we want, but let's hear from the guys that know it best, that is the coaches, on their thoughts on this week's edition of the Battle of the Axe. Six yeah. Would be a big number. yeah, six would be a big number. I, I you know, I don't know if, if, it, if it's um, I like streaks or, or whatever, but I like winning. Right? It's a whole lot better than the alternative. So, you know, it's just keep doing what you're doing and expecting things, good things to happen, great things will come, and that's what we spend a lot of time on. There's nothing more than I'd love to be able to, to have that axe and, and give it to one of the seniors so they can run around the field with it. You know, that I think that'd be something fantastic for these seniors to have, and it's, it's a memory that I'd love for them to, to be able to share with their families. Yeah, those coaches being very candid there on how much they do want to win this game. They realize it's not just another game like you hear so much coach speech these days. These guys get the deal. Uh, Chad Rogers does downplay the streak a little bit, but yet they did have those five peak t-shirts ready to go last year. Man, did they have those ready quickly? <laughs> it's always great to be prepared, but they were extremely prepared, and that's what both of these teams are looking to be coming into this game is prepared, even though you haven't had a game, a regular season game just yet. Coaches have a big part in this game, but of course the players are the ones that play Play it. They are excited about this game, and let's hear what the players had to say about this year's game. It means a lot. I mean, I've been living here ever since I was young, and it means a lot. It's just tradition around this town. Everywhere you see, it's just Bearcats, and around this time of year, or when we play them, it's just battle of the axe. It's definitely uh, one of the most important things uh, this season because no team in history has ever won uh, six straight six straight games uh, for Denison, and it's very important to us to be able to keep the axe throughout our entire uh, year, years through high school. It is very exciting. A lot of crowd, everybody's cheering, everybody's yelling your name is loud. It's very exciting. Nerves just jumping. It feels, it feels exciting, especially when you're like holding it up. It feels great. Well, there you go. The stage is all set. Should be a fantastic football game. Usually is when Sherman and Denison get together. Of course, we will have much more on this big game coming up tonight at 6. And, of course, kickoff 730 here at Munson, guys.